live in the soil some plants animals live in the water how do these plants and animals get the air or oxygen so you know the boiling water suppose if you are boiling water in a pan after boiling it for some time we see small small bubbles in the pan inside right so boiling water in a pan shows tiny bubbles inside it so these bubbles come from the air dissolved in the water so this proves that there is air dissolved in the water which shows in the form of tiny bubbles so when the water is heated the dissolved air escapes out and when we continue to heat the water turns into water vapor and then boils so, so that is seen in the form of tiny droplets the water vapor is shown in the form of tiny droplets so that proves that always in the water also there is dissolved air or oxygen so that is the reason animals living in the water used to dissolve oxygen in water so always the water has some amount of dissolved oxygen which will be later shown in the form of water vapor so that air or the dissolved oxygen present in the water is used by the aquatic plants and animals to respire or breathe then this is about the plants living and animals living in the water so how about animals or plants living in the soil how do they breathe suppose if you are taking a piece of dry soil and mixing it in a glass of water then what you see immediately you see air bubbles coming out along with some sound what does that indicate so dry soil when mixed with water in a glass beaker shows bubbles coming out of the soil so these bubbles indicate the presence of air so that dry soil had some holes which had air fills filled inside it when we added water the air which was present inside the soil got displaced and water occupied that space so that showed in the form of bubbles so bubbles indicate the presence of the air so when water was poured on the soil when water was poured on the soil the air got displaced which is seen in the form of bubbles when the bubbles came the air got displaced came up and water inside water went inside and occupied the space so soil has air spaces through which air enters in and out and then the animals the plants living in the soil breathe that way so many animals live by making burrows or holes deep into the soil so snakes ants and many small small animals live by making burrows or holes into the soil so what happens these burrows or holes act as air spaces air moves in and out of the soil through these air spaces or burrows these air plants or animals or soil this air helps for breathing for the animals or plants living in the soil so animals live by making burrows or holes animals like uh, ants snakes rats some more animals live by making holes into the soil they live they go and live deep inside the soil by digging holes into the soil and then what happens these burrows or holes have air spaces in them then this air spaces helps in moving the air in out in and out of the soil that way they get the air and those animals and plants breathe but what happens during heavy rainfall the water fills up all these holes present in the soil right then what happens so animals who have to come to the land again to breathe so during rainfall water fills the spaces occupied by the air and then the animals come to the land for breathing that is the reason we see many earthworms coming on to the land during the rainfall we see earthworms on the soil right on the top surfaces so animals living in the water breathe with the help of dissolved oxygen in the water there is always dissolved air which contains oxygen in the water through which aquatic plants and animals live and then animals or plants living in the soil help how do they respire by digging holes in the soil they live and these holes have air spaces in them which let the air move up and down which help in respiration of these animals or plants otherwise dry soil also has air spaces in it which helps in the movement of air thereby helping the microorganisms or animals or plants living in the soil so that is how oxygen becomes available to the animals and plants living in the soil and as well as the water so have you ever thought daily all the organisms are using oxygen right human beings plants animals microorganisms even then if we are using even though if you are using so much of oxygen the oxygen content is not being consumed completely there is still amount of oxygen left in the atmosphere <coughs> 
why the total oxygen is not being used up so how is how is the oxygen in the atmosphere being replaced why all the oxygen in the atmosphere doesn't get used up even though large number of organisms are consuming it daily daily we consume lots of oxygen but even then the con the quantity of oxygen is not being not getting depleted how plants produce oxygen by photosynthetic activity so during the day time when sunlight is there plants start producing oxygen right they take in carbon dioxide and produce oxygen they, that is the one way by which plants are helping us to produce oxygen and then animals also cannot live without the plants animals also depend for their oxygen on the plants only so plants are the major source by which oxygen content is being maintained in the atmosphere so the oxygen carbon dioxide balance is always there in the atmosphere how it is maintained by the photosynthesis in the plants oxygen carbon dioxide balance is always there in the atmosphere how it is maintained by the photosynthetic activities in the plants plants are the major sources which help in maintenance of the oxygen level in the atmosphere without getting depleted so oxygen carbon dioxide balance is maintained by the photosynthetic activities in the plants in photosynthetic activity plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen during the day time when there is sunlight so respiration in plants and animals also help in maintenance of the oxygen carbon dioxide balance so two things help in maintenance of the oxygen carbon dioxide balance one is photosynthetic activity in plants next is respiration in both plants and animals so we can say that the plants and animals are interdependent right they depend on each other and then coming to windmill you know windmill right we make a model of a paper windmill or figure we play with that so what are the windmill uses windmill uses the air only for all its activity like generating electricity running the flour mills where we where they make wheat into powder rice into powder in the flour mills for generating electricity then drawing water from the tube wells to draw the water from the wells dug in the ground we use windmill so for the windmill runs only on the basis of air it uses motor and runs only with the help of air and what are some more help what are the other uses of air what are other things which use air for their function you know movement of the yacht yacht moves in the seas or the oceans right then gliders gliders parachutes move in the air then aeroplanes flights also help flights also function with the help of air only then birds insects bats fly with the help of air then dispersal dispersal of seeds and pollen grains helps occurs with the help of air only right how new buds new fruits new flowers develop when there is dispersal when there is dispersal of seeds and pollen grains with the help of air then pollination occurs and new fruits and new vegetables develop right in the plants dispersal of dispersal of seeds occur only with the help of air along with the air some insects some bees also help in the dispersal of seeds then role in the water cycle as you know in the water cycle air plays a major role so that is how there are other uses of air and then the oxygen level in the atmosphere is maintained with the help of plants majorly and also animals